everyone, my name is Maria Carmen, a host of one more episode for Catalyst Fund 11. Catalyst is the treasure for Cardano, where people can apply for grants and get your project funded. And today I brought here Rodrix, that's from the Brazilian community. Hi, how are you? Hi, Maria. Thanks for the invitation. I think uh, the last time I was the one interviewing you in my channel to talk about Cardano, and uh, here we are today. Yes, it's all about community work, isn't it? And we are in like a uh, Bitcoin event and you open the space for me to talk to Cardano and I will be always grateful because, you know, lots of people uh, in the Bitcoin community needed to know that there are other options and there are other projects. And I think it's great that we can collaborate. You collaborate with me in another day and here you are to present your proposal, your first proposal. And I hope you come back for more. Um, Definitely. So if you would like to share your screen and present your work, your team and your proposal. Sure, sure. Let me actually uh, share my screen here just to give a, a little background uh, about myself. Uh, everybody, I've been in the crypto industry since uh, 2015. Uh, part of several projects, including uh, Bitcoin.com in Tokyo when I uh, I was there for a while working for the project. Also, uh, Dash.org, Dash Digital Cash, that I worked for them for five years as well. Uh, today, basically, I still um, heavily involved with uh, several um, uh, marketing and uh, uh, articles business, right? Uh, one of them is I do write uh, articles and news for Cointelegraph in Spanish. Uh, I do have my own websites in Portuguese that uh, we write articles as well. Uh, and what made me famous in the crypto industry was a documentary that uh, I shot back in 2018 in Venezuela, where I spent a whole week there paying everything with Dash uh, at the time. Uh, this was in 2018. This was pre-pandemic. This was very uh, different uh, um, how adoption is taking you know, at is taking place today, right? So from this documentary in 2018, um, I ended up shooting another one in Colombia in 2018 as well, where we spent a whole week there talking to uh, the communities that they were doing mass educational programs, teaching people how to download wallets, merchants, how to accept crypto uh, at the time dash. For, from that, um, I was hired by the consulate, the Swiss consulate, uh, Switzerland consulate in Brazil, to go to Switzerland and shoot another documentary regarding the Crypto Valley and the difference that was happening there regarding adoption, which I did so. Those documentaries kind of put me on the map in the in the crypto in the crypto business. Uh, as I think I stopped sharing my screen here, as um, I spoke in over 50 events in 11 countries because of those documentaries. The latest one was in 2021 in El Salvador. After uh, the announcement of the adoption of crypto, I contact Dania Gonzalez, the congresswoman who signed and approved the, the, the Bitcoin bill in El Salvador. I invited her to come to Brazil. I introduced her to the congressman in Brazil. This documentary that I shot in El Salvador was uh, 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 basically a bunch of interviews with the congressman and woman, people behind, even the, amb the ambassador, explaining what they were doing. And this was back in, 2000, uh, in 2018. Even bigger names uh, that I ended up interview are part of that. So all these experiences as a journalist, as a documentarist, uh, uh, today I also own my own website, right? We call bitcoinblock.com.br. It's, uh, it's a news website that we talk about the blockchain industry. And of course, I started everything as a, as a YouTuber back in 2015. That's my team. Uh, we create daily content and videos about the crypto industry. We talk about NFTs, blockchains, integrations, everything you can possibly imagine. And from this entire experience working for projects and exchange, that's what Bitcoin Block is today. We help business in the blockchain industry enter Brazil. So if it's a wallet, an exchange, a payment processor, an entire blockchain, we give them all the tools that they need regarding media partners and uh, PR and marketing support, partnership with previous exchange that we have. If there's a project that requ require listing in exchange, we have a few partnered exchanges as well. Uh, we have a few law firms that are our uh, partners regarding sometimes a few um, a few 
blockchain business need a, a special payment license, payment processor, a crypto license, a government license. We do have uh, uh, law firms that we can recommend. We have some relationship with governments in Switzerland, Brazil, Nigeria, and El Salvador. And most important, the events. We cover all those events in Brazil because we have a, a booth over there where we send uh, um, our team. One of the examples is this one here, where um, uh, I think after speaking for for a while, we actually we met in person, Maria. That's when I interview you there during the, the Crypto Minds events. So basically, every event that we have in Brazil, we go there, we interview all the speakers, we interview the, um, the, the sponsors of the events, the organizers, and we create articles. Another example is when... Um, Otavio, also another member of the Cardano community in Brazil, we interview him in our decentralized debate where we bring, you know, important names of the communities to talk about, to talk about what's happening, how things are changed, how to be part and be educated by blockchain projects. And we've been promoting and, uh, and helping the Cardano community uh, uh, for a while now. And today, after our meeting, uh, Maria was the one who helped me a little bit uh, um, to set up the Catalyst proposal. And we are uh, today here. Uh, thank you, Maria, and also to Otav as well for, for uh, uh, you know, guiding us on this the first steps of how to uh, become a member of the Cardano community. But today, what we're proposing is basically, number one, to mirror in a professional way all the official announcements from the Cardano community we got to mirror all the news into our websites. We also got to give marketing and media support to any other uh, approved Cardano community that they need articles, they need to record a podcast, they need to record maybe a summit or an online meetup. One example, let's say that there is a proposal talking about uh, uh, dev development integration and they need to look for developers. Well, let's get a few developers we schedule a whole afternoon, a proper meetup or summit where people can learn more, get the information they need. We do a live broadcast in our YouTube channel, and then we transform that into an article to broadcast into our uh, social media and website as well. So we got to give all the marketing and PR support besides the normal type of content when needed for educational programs, you know, about Cardano, best wallets how to present other proposals and have all this done in a professional way as a news article using as well our audience and our uh, uh, social media tools. Um, so I think it's super cool the experience you have. I'm great that you came and you actually agreed to wrote a proposal because I am telling Catalyst for a lot of people. But he, people think it's a little bit confusing and sometimes take a little bit more time. So people want to, the deadline is tomorrow and they want to write the proposal today. It doesn't work very well, but you are here. I hope people vote for your proposal. I will link down below in the description all the links that people can contact you, your social media. And actually, we met when Charles, the first time event in Brazil that Charles was That's there. That's right. That's right. Answering questions from the, from the Brazilian Cardano community. I was doing the translation between the, 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 the audience and Charles. Do you remember that now? I remember I was helping with the audio. They had a problem with the audio and me and Otavio were like punching plugs and stuff. And then we made it work. I remember that. It was, it was a funny day. Yeah, it was a exactly. good day. Exactly. So we are connecting some, some ways for, for a long time ago and you're here. And I think it's a lot of uh, work uh, to be done in Brazil about marketing, professional marketing, professional journalism, professional way to present our ecosystem to the society. As we are getting out the bear market, I think people will be more interested. No, definitely. Uh, I think uh, it's very important for us to 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 do. We're looking forward for a long term term partnership with uh, uh, the, the Cardano community via presenting proposals as, um, as I was part uh, of other communities that we did that in the past. I think it's important to, first of all, show the credibility we're asking for uh, um, uh, the amount of money, the minimum one to start this relationship. And we want to make sure 
that uh, the community receives us and we got to do everything ca we can in our end to make sure this is a long-term relationship. Well, thank you very much, uh, Maria, and uh, uh, for the community. It's the Thanks, Emilia, and I see you soon. Thank you.